Okay. Uh, my topic for this session will be, again, uh, it's a practice on uh, the so-called study of triangles. So, for those of you who are taking SAT or CAT exam or maybe board exam problems, this is for you guys. This is just an example problem, but it pulls under the so-called long video format. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, we are given a figure here and uh, the figure uh, refers to the so-called Cartesian coordinate system. This will be the x-axis, this is the y-axis and uh, being graphed on the Cartesian coordinate system are actually three vertices. Vertex number one, vertex number two and vertex number three because in here Uh, we are given a triangle. Okay? So we are given the three vertices of the triangle. Uh, this is at the location 0, 0. This is uh, at the location 3 and 3. This is at the location 4 and 0. Okay, the, the condition of the problem is this. Uh, if each vertex point is multiplied by 3 halves, what would be the area of the resulting triangle? Meaning to say, we are with these three given vertices, according to the given condition, if we try to multiply the coordinates of the vertices by the factor 3 halves or by the value 3 halves, what would be the area of the resulting triangle? Uh, there's a little problem with the logic of this uh, problem here. Uh, if each vertex point is multiplied by three halves, meaning the meaning of that is that if the coordinates of the three vertices are to be multiplied by three halves, what will be the area of the resulting triangle? Of course, if we try to multiply the coordinates of the three vertices, the triangle will grow or it will go bigger, right? Oh, let's try to multiply the three vertices by the factor three halves to bring out the solution. So for the solution of this, uh, B here repairs the vertex. Okay, so capital letter B with the subscript one, two, three. So this should be vertex number one, this is vertex number two, and this is vertex number three. Right? Condition of the problem, if the coordinates of the three vertices are to be multiplied by three halves, what will be the resulting area? Of course, it will go bigger, right? Uh, let's consider vertex number one. Vertex number one is at the location zero, zero. Okay? If we try to multiply the abscissa of uh, vertex number one by three halves, it will still be zero. It will not grow, right? The ordinate at vertex number 1 is also 0. If we try to multiply this by 3 halves, it will still be 0. Okay? How about vertex number 2? Uh, vertex number 2, the coordinates is actually 3 and 3, meaning the abscissa is 3 and the ordinate is 3. So if we try to multiply 3 by 3 halves, that will be 9 halves. The resulting abscissa now will be 9 halves. So instead of 3, it will be 9 halves. It will be, the abscissa will be 4.5, something like this. Okay? Again, the ordinate is, three, is still 3. Multiplied by 3 halves, it will still be 9 halves. So if we try to multiply this by 3 halves, this will change location. The abscissa will be 4.5 and the ordinate will be 1 over 5 and this will be the new location. This is with the location 9 halves and 9 halves. Right? About the third one. The third vertex is at the location 4 and 0. So 4 and 0. 
4 times 3 halves, that will be 4 times 3 will be 12 divided by 2. Uh, this 4 here will become 6. So it will change location. And for the ordinate, it will not change. It will be 0 times 3 halves, it will still be 0. So the location of vertex number 3, after uh, the multiplication, it will go to, this is 4, right? So 6 will be something like this. Uh, this will be the new location of uh, the third vertex. After the multiplication, this will now be with the coordinate 0. So actually, it will be something like this. If we try to connect the three vertices now, okay, that's it. Actually, the triangle increases in, uh, what do you call this, uh, in area. So supposed to be the requirement, the required area will be larger than the original one. Okay. <coughs> uh, so this is an easy matter now. Uh, the resulting altitude will be this one. Right. The base of the result of the new triangle will be six. So the base will be six units. And this height here is actually given, it's nine halves. It's nine, 9 over 2 units. So the enlarged triangle, the base is 6 units and the height is 9 halves. And uh, one, uh, the formula on how to compute for the area of any triangle, is, it will be the product of 1 half times the product of the base times height. So this is 1 half. We are given the base, it is 6 units after the multiplication. So this is 6. And the height is 9 halves. So this is 9 halves. So these two here cancel with this. This will be 3. 3 times 9 will be 27 over 2. And 27 over 2 is 13.5 square units. So the resulting area after the multiplication of 3 halves for the individual vertices, it is 13.5 square units. Okay, that's it guys. That's the solution of this problem. Okay, this is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Good morning from Los Angeles.